number today. Um, I've got my GoPro again, so we've got Shaking Stevens camera. Nothing I can do about that. Um, so, we've got an interesting little rip out and isolator to put in. Let me show you. It's all been made dead and whatever have you. That This actual box here is coming out. Um, then we're connecting to this rather awesome three phase isolator switch. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a bit of a sucker for this old school stuff. And I even like the way it's sort of weathered. Um, what do they call that? The patina on it. I love it. I don't know why we're, why we're not replacing that too or putting in a whole new circuit. But again, it's not my call. Right, let's get on with this. This is what we like. This is what we like. A wood screw. in the uh, earthing terminal. Awesome. This is super interesting. If you have a look here, this is what I've just pulled out. So these, so this must be, I don't know, it's got to be at least 30 years old. And these are the bushes that come out of it. Now these are the bushes that we use today. It's not specific to this company or any company. This is just what's coming out, being manufactured at the moment. If I give you a side by side, Okay, this is a long reach and this is a short one. But you can see the difference in thickness, the difference in quality. They're even a different colour. Some of you might say it's because it's tarnished or whatever. It's not. These have a significantly different colour than these these days. And I would dare say the competition, the composition of that alloy is different now as well. Um, I always find that fascinating that you can actually feel the weight difference in that. The quality, the build quality. Um, try saying. So that broke to bits. Don't know, never tried this before. That's not even deformed. Interesting. Right, so, got a stall. Board come point. Got to install this here, uh, like that. Okay, now, one of the biggest problems is stalling these boards with, with these holes. Now, usually, I would just drill a hole and use a penny washer. But well, I know there's going to be some nerd out there that goes, oh, that doesn't comply with the British standard of my toenail. Oh, listen, ordinarily I just wouldn't care. But I suppose I'd better, show, I'd better do it right once. Um, because these are so long, you're not getting a pen down it or anything like that. So I stuck a screwdriver, I cut this bit of board out, stuck a screwdriver down it, um, and now I've got the four holes where they should be. I hate this method, and I've never actually used this method, and it come out straight on the wall. So, fingers crossed, eh? Now, right, this is where we need it, roughly. That's roughly. There's a number one hole, if you like. Now, we use the laser. Now, we've got our number one hole, a prime hole, if you like. Don't go down to this one here, which we know is also Alright, 
so now we know that these are exactly where they should be because these are right so we've got our four holes now well look Yeah, it's all there. That's a shame. That's a shame. I love that. Now it's straight. So obviously the template method works. I'm just gonna put that out there, I invented it. I'm smart. Um yeah, no one else can use it unless you pay me. So, all finished. Now, I can't show you what's going on in here. Because some of the things I've been asked to do to just get the job done, it's just not good enough. And I'll pride myself on, you know, bringing you some honest content. And I'll show you stuff to a certain extent, but it's not unsafe, it's just bollocks if I'm honest with you. And this is a non-swearing channel, but I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say about it. It's just not okay. So, with that being said, yeah, until next time.